Hello! In this video, I'm going to perform two very popular and widely known tests for the presence of hydrogen and oxygen. First, the test for hydrogen. Get 10 ml of dilute hydrochloric acid and add them to a test tube. Next, get a small piece of metal that is more reactive than hydrogen in the electrochemistry series. The most common metals used for this purpose are magnesium, zinc, iron and aluminum. I am using magnesium. Ok, here's what happens. Magnesium reacts with hydrochloric acid yielding hydrogen gas and magnesium chloride that stays in solution. This is a graphic explanation of the reaction. Now the test for hydrogen. Notice the popping sound. Moving on to the test for oxygen. Warning! Potassium permanganate is a strong oxidizer. Keep it away from fire and flammable materials. Also, dilute the concentrated hydrogen peroxide to keep the reaction under control. The first thing you need to do is to place a few crystals of potassium permanganate in a container. Add 100 ml of water and swirl to completely dissolve them. Very carefully pour 50 ml of diluted hydrogen peroxide. I diluted mine by mixing 25 ml of 30% hydrogen peroxide with 25 ml of water, so the concentration now is 15%. Potassium permanganate reacts with hydrogen peroxide, yielding potassium superoxide, oxygen gas, manganese dioxide and water. The reaction is almost complete now. I'm adding what is left in my beaker. Now for the test. I light the match and bring it close to the flask. And as you can see, the flame is much brighter. So these were the easy ways to test for hydrogen and oxygen. Thanks for watching and please subscribe, like and leave a comment.